for the first time in our history, we may strike all three of the big three at once. Our message to the companies was clear. If we don't have a fair contract by midnight on Thursday night, we will strike. The second big difference is the way we're going to strike is going to be very different. In fact, we're inventing a whole new way to strike. And we're calling it the stand-up strike. <clears throat> the name stand-up strike, of course, recalls the movement that built our great union, the sit-down strikes of 1937. Just as in the 1930s, we're living in a time of stunning inequality throughout our society. We're living in a time where our industry is undergoing massive transformations. And we're living in a time where our labor movement is redefining itself. In the spirit of the sit-down strike, the stand-up strike will keep the companies guessing. It's going to rely on discipline, organization, and creativity. The stand-up strike begins with all of our locals, from parts distribution centers to assembly plants, maintaining a constant strike readiness. It's really important that we're clear on this point. We will not strike all of our facilities at once. We will strike all three companies, a historic first, initially at a limited number of targeted locations that we will be announcing. Then, based on what's happening in bargaining, we're going to announce more locals that are going to be called to stand up and strike. These locals will join those that are already on strike so that our strike at each company will continue to grow over time. And again, I want to be clear. Our goal is not to strike. Our goal is to reach a fair agreement. But if the companies continue to bargain in bad faith or continue to stall or continue to give us insulting offers, then our strike's going to continue to grow.